Hey, hey. So here we are in day three, and we're gonna talk about happiness. So day three is part of the 12 days of coaching. And why I really wanted to just take a moment and talk about happiness is I feel a lot of times that the reason why we gain weight, the reason why we become inactive is our emotions. We let our emotions guide what we do. And that's not always a bad thing, but when it comes to our health, we really need to be aware of that. Like how much is our emotions impacting what we eat, how much we eat, how active we are, you know, whether we're actually getting up and out of the house, interacting with other people, are we um, supporting other people? Are we, are we being supportive in a positive nature or are we being more negative? So being happy is not just necessarily being happy in your life and happy with your body, with your mind, with your spirit, but it's also um, what you emit, what you're putting out. Are you putting out happiness? Are you um, surrounding yourself with other people who are happy, who are um, creating healthy habits in their life, who are following in the steps that you want to be? Maybe you are not at the idea of where you want to be or the goal of where you want to be. But that's why you need to surround yourself with others who have reached that goal who or who are striving for that same goal. So that's another component of coaching and just being a part of a team in that we are all striving to be happy. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm happy 100% of the time. No, of course not. That's just not realistic. But I am going to say that by starting my team especially and knowing that I have others to look up to me, that I am more honest about when I am having the crappy days so that I can just get that off my chest and therefore maybe it can help somebody else know that they're not alone and that makes me happy because the worst thing you want to do in life is to feel that you are alone and that nobody understands your story and nobody can relate to you um, because then you close yourself off. So as soon as you know that somebody else had the same struggles as you, is thinking the same way as you, um, maybe has the same situation as you, maybe hates the same move as you do, um, it just goes ahead and then gives you a smile on your face. You know, like I do not like these like fighter, like, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's like these up downs. I really dislike them. Um, but when I say that to everybody, then I get other people chiming, oh yeah, those ones are a killer, you know, blah, 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 or, you know, I, I can't do a full out sphinx blaster, it's crazy tricep, like kind of push up, I can't do it full out. And so I get to see everybody else to talk about, yeah, it's painful, I can't do it. So it's something that's not necessarily a positive thing, but it makes me happy because then I know I'm not the only one who's failing at it. Um, and in addition to that, you know, when you are active and when you are, you know, having that blood coursing through your, your system and that your adrenaline's pumping and your heart rate's going, that's just creating more endorphins and endorphins make you happy. So that's what I always tell my, my friends. I always tell people who are first starting out, just find a way to get active. I promise you, it is hard to not be happy when you're actually being active and, and afterwards you feel and you see how sweaty and gross you are you're gonna be happy because you're gonna know that you torch calories, you got your heart rate up, and you're starting to really kickstart your metabolism. So day three, happy. That is one reason why I am super, super happy to be a coach and making that decision. So thank you guys for tuning in to day three of 12 days of coaching and stay tuned for tomorrow for day four.